Hey guys, it's Kez, and today we're taking a quick look at Starbound. Hooray! Now you might remember that a friend of mine, Ghost, and I were playing uh, Terraria for a little while there, but unfortunately that's had to come to a stop because my internet's not fast enough to host us playing, and it's just kind of painful to try. So I don't think I'll be able to play Starbound with some friends unless I can hop onto a uh, someone else's dedicated server or something. But for now, I can try to play solo. Um, I know that's might like that might not be as interesting to you, but I just can't technical limitations. But uh, yeah, for now, let's just go ahead and start the game. Uh, we're going to create a new character. Randomize is fine. Uh, let's actually let's just play as a human. Yeah, that's fine. And we will name her Kezun Twitch. There we go. We'll play survival. Drop items on death. That's fine. And I guess that's it. We're done. Cool. Now, since this is a uh, quick look or a one off or whatever you want to call it. I'm probably going to play for something like 20 or 30 minutes, and then once that time's up- Oh, there's a story. Wake up. Wake up. You have overslept. Uh, wake up. Get up, me. Do, so do some squats. Yeah. Warning exercise. To interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you are awake enough to do so. Okay, so let's just take a look. Turn my lava lamp on and off. Oh! Cool. I could use the toilet. This music is nice. Can I jump? I can jump. Okay. Remember, you can open a door by hovering it, or hovering over it and pressing E. Okay, so it uses the nearest thing, not necessarily what I'm hovering over. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It's quite impressive that you remain so serene when you were running so late. Well done for you. Oh yeah, I'm running late. Uh, there we go. Are these pants? Pixels. I will just take the pixels. I guess they're here. What's this? Graduation flyer junk. Cool. Take all my stuff. Howdy. Soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter manipulator. Must be exciting. Off to a bit of a late start, aren't you, Cousin Twitch? Yes, just just a bit. Can I run? Huh? Welcome to the Terrine Protectorate. Talk to me for handy tips. I'm good for now, thank you. The vending machine sold my pixels. Could this day get any worse? Man, don't talk to me about bad days. I had a terrible day on Friday. Can I run? Is there a run button? Not so much. Hi. Frustrated. They have me sweeping the bridge every hour like I'm a machine or something. Impatient. Just one day away from retirement. <sighs> Sit with me for a moment. Let's enjoy these beautiful blossoms. I would love to, but I'm running late. This is gorgeous. I'm glad I got this. You're really cutting it close, Kids and Twitch. Please hurry inside before the ceremony starts. Eager. My very own matter manipulator. I figuratively cannot wait. Not many Florins become protectors. Florin is proud to be chosen. I came here early to study- Oh, sorry. Early to make sure I wouldn't miss the ceremony. Hey, Kids and Twitch. I was wondering if you were going to show up or not. Hi. My fellow protectors, this font is really tiny. Today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Uh, our task, to protect our fellow beings, to support, house, and educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Is there any, there's nothing I can press. Okay, today in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots and present them each with our greatest tool. Da 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 da! The matter manipulator! Huh? 
What was that? Oh, what the? Ah! Ah! Not my boss! You, graduate, take the manipulator and run! I didn't get to read that last part. Take. It's not safe to remain here. Please take the matter manipulator. You must proceed to the shuttle pad. Running, running, running. It appears the ceiling has collapsed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. Press the R key to equip it, then hold it on the pile of dirt to dig it. Oh, okay. I'm doing that. This isn't especially exciting. I'm working on it. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. You know, it's not like we're in danger or anything. Let's just tidy this up just a little bit more. There we go. Ah, just have a quick seat. Oh, okay, so I just jump up here? Is there anyone- Oh, that's completely flooded. There's space bar to jump to higher platforms. There we go. Okay, there's something I can do there. It looks like that dude up there is doomed. Doomed, dude! The scale of this disaster is immeasurable. The destruction occurring is beyond my capacity to quantify. You must leave this planet immediately. I'm working on it. Down and jump, that's easy. No touchy. Oh, great. More of this. Yeah, no problem. Just, you know, end of the world shit going on. Let's just clean this up. It's fine. It's fine! The chest sitting on the conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. Okay, take all. What's this? Broken broadsword. How. That'll do. How do I. Okay, that'll work. Access a weapon with ease by placing it in one of the action bar slots, then pressing the corresponding number key to equip or unequip it. Number key. If you say so, man. I mean... Corresponding number- How am I supposed to know that this is four? Eesh. What's this? Salve and bandages. I'll probably be needing those. Yay! Congratulations on your graduations! Starbound! Taking our time in a disaster. Remaining calm! Okay, get up. Don't get up. What's this? Uh, well. Robot process remains uni initiated. Rebooting. Pet pet. Pet pet. Petting the cat. I am Sail, your ship based artificial intelligence lattice. I maintain the. Okay, I am also programmed to offer you information and advice. And in advice. Earth was attacked by an unknown force and was sub subsequently annihilated. The ship's navigation systems were damaged in our escape. Our location is currently unknown. Oh, Noah's. We are currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. Rewards, mysterious bag. I mean, what choice do I have but to accept that for now? I can't even sit down? Man. Okay, so this is my storage stuff. Okay, a flashlight. I might be needing that. A 
Let's put the salve. Let's put the flashlight here. And we'll bring some canned food with us. Neat. Everything's all organized and separated. Huh. Okay. Actually, I probably won't need my, like, shirt and pants. It's fine. And actually, no. We'll bring some torches. Oh, the torches are like a one-handed thing? Really? Weird. Okay. I don't really want this here. If that's the case. There we go. Beam down. Loading. Okay. What's this? Red petal. Pixels. What are pixels doing down here? Uh. Tree's wobbling. He's going to. There we go. You found some wood. My databanks tell me wood is a material with a great many uses. I suggest you kill additional trees and explore your crafting menu. Okay. What's this? Wheat? Wheat! Berries! I was just planting them in some tilled soil and watering them until they grow. The tools you need can be built at a foraging table. There we go. Okay, cool. How do I craft? Crafting. Seems you've discovered fire. My databanks tell you the 714 billionth person to do so. Well done. You can use fire to cook food. Thank you, smartass. Okay. Can we close this? Thank you. Let's go ahead. Okay, so I have to use the menu. Then let's go ahead and set this fire down somewhere. Somewhere that makes sense. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! Are you a Pokemon? It looks like a Pokemon! Okay. Uh, let's see then. Uh, I've got some dirt and sod. I can make some... Uh, lumber. Hmm. That didn't go quite as I'd hoped. I was only expecting it to go one wide. Hmm. Let's try that again. Can I change the dimensions? No? Boiled pearl peas. Okay, let's just see how we can eat. How do we eat? It's easy enough. Okay then. Uh, sapling. Sapling from simple roots. I guess we'll just have to suck it up for now. 
In the meantime, I can cut out a little door. Go hunt for more trees. Hunt for more trees. Ow! You dick. Stupid dick. One more. Come on. One more. Okay, that wasn't expected. Okay then. Goodness. This is a nice game. Come on, tree. Energy source. I estimate 32% chance that it is worth investigating. And 98% chance that you have nothing better to do. I really don't. Uh, I'm trying to work on a shelter, mind you. So... You know, if you could stop being a judgmental dick for a second, that'd be great. Okay, crafting. Let's go ahead and make more timber. Okay. Can I make a door? What do I need for an inventor's table? Timber and some wooden logs. Okay, no problem. I'm just gonna get more wood. Danke. Thank you. What the hell is that thing? like a turtle with an eyeball trunk. Preemptive strike. Ah. Okay. Let's just run on back. Oop. Okay. And now let's make some timber. I need 12 timber for an inventor's table. Okay, and now we've got this. Did you just craft an inventor's table? Yes. I wish I could have read that, but oh well. Okay. I can actually go ahead and craft a few more. There we go. Cool. Let's see. Let's just place down that inventor's table. If we can. Okay, cool. A foraging table, spinning wheel, used to produce items for hunting, mining, and farming. This is interesting. It reminds me a little bit of Junk Jack. Okay. Let's find out here. Here we go. And... What? Can I make? I want to make a door. Doesn't really look like a door is an option. Huh. Primitive furnace. What does this need? This needs also mud and a campfire. A wooden workbench might be where I need to make the door, and I need four cobblestone for that. So let's just collect some cobblestone. Nope, that's mud. Is there any surface stone, maybe, that I might be able to use? 
Huh. What about this stuff? Hi! Do you want to be my little friend? Just discovered some ore. Yes. You're big. You must- Ow! Ow! Jeez. Why is your thing here so hard to kill? Okay. That's enough cobblestone for now. Just jump over that well. Okay. We've made our way home. And we'll just do this for now. Okay. I want to make a workbench. What do I need? I need timber. We can make timber. So I can't quite jump high enough, but if I were able to, I'll go like that. Okay. Okay, I have a plan. can't reach me, so I'm not worried. Okay, let's just move this here. idea of having a platform go across here as like a, an easy way to get to the second floor. So let's just do a plunk and a plunk. Okay, and now let's go ahead and place our work tables. I know it's not great, but meh. Okay, and then the other one Okay then, I can make a door now. Okay, and what all do they need? I need more timber. Okay. So then a door is going to fit like that. There we go. Cool. Perfect. Now we'll just kind of break up this wall a bit.
Okay, there we go. Let's just make this a little bit nicer. safer to just jump up to the different floors. Maybe a little less resource intense. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we can jump up to there. The top one. Okay. Okay, cool. And I guess now we have our first little settlement home thing. <laughs> uh, can't build something for 25 minutes. It's not even very good. But yeah, this has been a quick look at uh, Starbound. If you guys want to see more of this, I'd be super happy to play it. So uh, yeah, I guess for now, I'll just see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.